Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another Tits Beer Bomb 420 Beer Review. We have Weinsteifer Vites. It's a Weizenbach, and I've had two other beers from this uh, from them before. I've had their uh, regular Hefeweizen, and I've had the one that was that crystal clear Weiss beer one. This is an imported beer, product of Germany, imported by the beer barons. It says on here the world's oldest brewery since 1040. Uh, all you need to know is that this wheat beer is 7.7% .7 alcohol in a 500 milliliter bottle. So let's take a look at that, folks. It says uh, Weizenbach on there. I could try out their dunkle if I could ever get my hands on that, that's for sure. But um, what else to tell you? <clears throat> um, it's supposed to be a spicy single Bach wheat beer. This beer apparently is for the beer lovers and the beer connoisseur. Uh, they uh, made it extra long and cold storage in the uh, celleries of the place. The monastery cellars to be exact. And apparently doing that it's supposed to make it like an extra special beer. So uh last year when I got the Erdinger uh gift set, I renewed the two beers I gave at the time, the Hefenweizen and then it's Dunkel, but they were worth drinking again and I wanted to finally have a week beer glass, so that's how it looked last year. And I'm gonna use it to pour this seven point seven percent. that. <laughs> so it's my third from these people. Cheers. Or should I say brust? Ziggy zaggy, ziggy zaggy. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> you know? So yeah, I've seen this before. Okay, you can smell it a little bit from here. Ooh, kind of banana bread like. <clears throat> um, I could have done the vice roll. But I'm going to do it the other way that I'm used to, you know, pour a bunch in and then start shaking it up for all the yeast and everything to get collected. And I still don't pour it this, with this glass, so I'm going to get too much fucking head. But cheers. I guess I should shake some up now. It might be a little too soon, but I'll do it just so y'all see I'm doing it. Whoa! That was a bad idea. It's never done that on me before. Never fucked up doing it before. Oh, well, one for the blooper books. So I don't know what's going to happen now. I've never fucked up shaking it in there before with any wheat beers. Son of a bitch, right? Oh, well. Just pour some more so it's, it's not like minutes to minutes to minutes to minutes of waiting. So yeah, something fucked up. 7.7%. Uh, very extremely, extremely carbonated. Just rushing massively, extremely tons of small bubbles. Constant, non-stop of the science project. It's got like a... Orange color to the light, can't see through it, all the carbonation constantly rushing and blocked it as well. Up in front, it looks very light of a yellowish color with a little bit of orange. More head than this glass is showing you where you should start getting it, but fuck it, whatever. So about three fingers. Looks nice for German wheat. Smell it now. It's light, refreshing. Um, Orange, uh, lemon maybe, something like that. It just smells good, so let's dive in. Cheers.
Okay, that was just foam. And that tasted like orange soda. That felt weird. Fucking thing is extremely carbonated. Holy shit. I can feel some of the carbonation. As cold as I have it, which I don't know what the temperature is, but I didn't put it in the fridge the first day I got it home, you know, but number of hours. And um, the coldness kind of gives it a little bit of like an orange soda kind of aspect to it. But then breaking through that, I'm getting a really light, uh, smooth maltiness with um, some like banana to it by an almost like a banana bread style. Um, when it comes to the wheat beers that I've had, my all time favorite come from Germany. I really am into the Heffenbeisen ones. And um, the dark ones, like the Dunkel and what have you. But now that I've, at this stage in my life, I've had other styles and know that there is lots of different uh, German wheat beers out there, you know. You know, they're not all just straight up like the Heffenbison style. Because there actually is some. Uh, I've actually had a German wheat beer that was pretty damn disgusting before. And I can't. And I've had ones that weren't from Germany, but they wouldn't be preferred. <coughs> um, there's a little bit of a warmth because it's 7.7%. <coughs> it's easy to forget that because I'm not really thinking about that and I almost did forget. But uh, overall, the aftertaste, it's just like this light little banana creaminess, maltiness kind of on the tongue with a little bit of like a alcoholic warmth lightly. Leaves your lips a little bit sticky. And up front, before all those other tastes come in, it's almost like an orange soda, but not dead on to it. So, I mean, I've had way better German wheat beers, and I've definitely had way worse. But this is pretty good. And with it being 7.7, I'm going to rate it 7.7 out of 10. Fuck it, why not? Cheers, folks. Roast.